What is a vector? That's right. Previously we had seen that a vector is a quantity that has magnitude as well as direction. For example, let's say an object is displaced from a point A to a point B which is 3 meters away from it in a direction 20 degrees east of north. So here, the displacement of the object is a vector quantity. The magnitude of the displacement vector here is 3 meters and its direction is 20 degrees east of north. As we saw earlier, we can represent a vector by an arrow. So the displacement vector is represented by an arrow with its initial point as A and its terminal point as B. It's denoted like this with an arrow above the letters. Or we can also denote it by a single letter like this. The length of the arrow represents the magnitude of the displacement vector which is denoted like this. And the direction of the arrowhead represents the direction of the vector. So we see that we can represent a vector in general by an arrow. Now here are a few vectors on the screen with different magnitudes and directions. Notice that these vectors are parallel to each other while these vectors have a common initial point. Now, obviously a question arises in our mind. Can we compare two vectors? Or when can we say that two vectors are equal to each other? In this video, we will understand this and we will also look at different types of vectors. First, let's consider these vectors. We can see that they all have a common initial point O. Two or more vectors having the same initial point are called co-initial vectors. So here, vectors OM, ON and OL are all co-initial vectors. Now consider these vectors. Here, they are all parallel to each other or we can say that they are parallel to this line. If two or more vectors are parallel to the same line, even though they have different magnitudes and directions, they are called collinear vectors. Thus, all these vectors are collinear vectors. Now consider vector AB and vector CD. They both are directed in the same direction and have the same magnitude. So we can say that vector AB is equal to vector CD. Two vectors are said to be equal if they have the same magnitude and direction regardless of the position of the initial points. Notice this important point. It tells us that it's insignificant where the initial points of the vectors are if they are equal to each other. So according to this, we can move a vector parallel to its position without affecting its magnitude and direction. For example, we can make two copies of vector AB by moving it parallelly in this direction or moving it in the same direction like this. Here, all the three vectors will be equal to each other. Such vectors are called free vectors. That is, parallel displacement of vectors gives us equivalent vectors. One advantage of this is that it makes it easier to compare two vectors. Now consider the vectors AB, RS and UV. Let's move them parallel to their positions without affecting their magnitudes and directions such that they originate from a single point. Can you see? Now it's much easier to compare the directions and the magnitudes of these vectors with respect to each other. Now let me ask you a question. What will be the negative of a vector? For example, let's take the vector CD here. We know a vector is defined by two things. Its magnitude, that is its strength and its direction. So the negative of the vector CD is a vector which has the same magnitude as that of CD and its direction is opposite to that of CD. So vector DC will be the negative of the vector CD and it's denoted like this. Also notice that vector EF will be the negative of vector CD. Yes, the magnitude of vector EF is the same as that of vector CD. And it's directed in the opposite direction to that of vector CD. 
so vector EF will be the negative of vector CD. Thus, we saw here when are two vectors equal to each other and also what's the negative of a vector. Now, can you tell me if we can add two vectors? Does this seem possible to you? We will see this in the next lesson. To stay updated and to keep learning such interesting things, do subscribe to our channel.